Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at the boomer of the IWC AquaTimer collection. This is the IWC AquaTimer 2000, reference 3580-02, 46 millimeters in diameter, in titanium. This is the big dog. This is the killer whale of Schaffhausen's flagship dive watch collection, part of the 2014 current and running IWC AquaTimer collection. The 2000 reaches back into IWC's history to the original 1967 AquaTimer and the epic Colt watch, the titanium Porsche design 1982 IWC Ocean 2000 and unifies that heritage into a modern dive reference with more than a little bit of clever engineering built in. So let's put it on the wrist and get a sense of this sea monster. And it is a sea monster. As you can see, 46 millimeters, that's just the diameter of the round portion of the watch. But cleverly, IWC keeps the lugs nice and short. They barely project beyond the case itself. So although my wrist is 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch does not overwhelm or want to hula hoop. It doesn't overhang my wrist. This is about as big a watch as I can wear comfortably. But I do want to emphasize that it is comfortable. However, it is also thick, extraordinarily thick. 20.5 millimeters. This is never going to fit under a long sleeve, but it's designed to fit over a dive suit, so that's a problem you're not likely to have. This is not a formal watch, and you would probably never wear it in a boardroom unless you work for Comex, but the bottom line is for all other occasions, this is a fun, versatile, and rugged watch to wear. This is the hailest and hardiest IWC AquaTimer, and you can see that in the pleated bellows of this comfortable natural vulcanized rubber strap, the practicality of this pin buckle in matching sandblasted titanium, the chunky construction of the case, every facet of it, thick, machined, purposeful, and tool watch like, a solid case back blazon with the image of a vintage diving helmet, IWC knows that they can't have a sapphire here. Not on a watch that's water resistant to 200 bar or 2000 meters, but they keep it interesting. They give you something fascinating and romantic to look at. And that attention to detail is evident throughout this AquaTimer 2000, continuing to the over 5 millimeter thick sapphire crystal on top. Now, what that frames is a dial that's more than a little bit clever. Now, IWC's first AquaTimer was a little bit late to the dive watch game. It debuting in 1967, just get a sense of where its competitors debuted. The Blanc Palm 50 Fathoms, 1953. The Rolex Submariner, 1954. The Omega Seamaster Professional, 1957. So in 1967, IWC needed a couple of new tricks. And one of the best was the use of the super compressor case and its internal rotating dive bezel. IWC reprises the idea, if not the exact mechanics, of that system with the safe dive system. I can ratchet the bezel like so, and you see that inner loomed unidirectional bezel advances only in one direction relative to the dial, and I can use that loomed index as a sort of fail-safe chronograph. Lining it up with the minutes hand, I can time an interval from 0 to 60 minutes, whether I'm grilling hot dogs or decompressing after a dive. It's a useful feature that has a lot of added convenience value, whether you're subsurface or on the surface. Plus, the dial itself is a marvel to behold, with a lot of clever design. Now, I've talked about the engineering of the watch, but there's a lot of clever artwork at play here. This is a luxury product, and it's finished and decorated as such. Moving in from that dished unidirectional bezel inside, it's concave and it moves downward to a flat minute track with raised hour indices, all illuminated, glows like a torch at night. As I move from those raised indices, I find a vertically striated guilloche pattern that runs from top to bottom on the dial and special raised portions that bear the script IWC Schaffhausen and the AquaTimer and 2000 meter marquee at six o'clock plus a clever hidden date right here at 3 o'clock. Monotone, it really blends in, doesn't spoil the pure utility watch aesthetic. IWC recognizes that while this is an extreme diving tool, most of its time will probably spent, be spent on the surface, quite frankly. And on the surface, automatic winding, legibility, and the convenience of a jump date are outstanding features to have. IWC also fits the watch with a 80,111 manufacturer movement. Now this caliber, which features hacking seconds, allows you to synchronize your watch precisely to a known accurate reference time, such as a separate dive timer, 
a partner's dive watch, an atomic clock, or a known accurate quartz watch. So that's a nice feature to have, featuring IWC's proprietary Albert Peloton designed bi-directional Paul based winding system. There's a lot of manufactured savoir faire in this movement, which is extremely rugged in keeping with the external image of the watch. It's also tough inside with a completely shock protected winding rotor and a 44 hour power reserve. This could be your daily watch from a mechanical standpoint. It's absolutely up to the challenge. No question. Whether your wrists up to the challenge, that's an open question, but the bottom line is that it is comfortable and it is functional, and it is very, very tough. It's also surprisingly versatile, and as of 2014, IWC has incorporated its quick change bracelet system on the entire Aquatimer family, and I want to talk a little bit about that real quick, because you can see this is a clever, natural vulcanized rubber, pleated bellow, rubber dive strap, but you can swap it out for a bracelet, for a textile, for other solutions, if you want to change the look of the watch, or maybe even try to dress it up a little bit for a formal occasion, hey, you can try, why not? So the bottom line is aqua, the aqua timers feature these pull tabs at the base of the junction of the strap and the lug. So there's a mechanical element inserted into each of the straps and you simply pull the tag, tab back from the case and you cant it outward and it comes off just like that. So you have the ease of a quick change strap system with the durability of a hardcore dive watch. And like I said, this is the big boomer of the dive watch line. This is the blue whale. This is your apex predator. This is the IWC's answer to the Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller, and they do it in their own unique Schaffhausen style. This watch is in outstanding condition. This watch is an exemplar of a modern dive watch that is heritage inspired, not just by the look of history, but by the spirit of historic innovation. Like that pioneering Ocean 2000 dive watch of 1982, like the unidirectional internal bezel 1967 aqua timer that first reference from IWC in the dive class this watch has a lot of original thinking to it that makes it a pleasure to experience in the hand and on the wrist I'm Tim and if you want an extreme dive watch in the Schaffhausen tradition I'm confident this IWC aqua timer reference 3580-02 aqua timer 2000 will indeed be the watch you want